everybody welcome to my channel my name is Sandra Asari and today I want to share my health journey with you and why I'm so passionate about holistic health first of all I am a daughter of the Most High God I am a wife to a great man and I am a mother to four wonderful kids professionally I have a bachelor's in biomedical science and a master's of science in respiratory care. I was born and raised in Ghana, and here is my story. So growing up from my teenage years, I've always had some type of constipation and it seemed to only grow worse. It got even worse after I started having kids. I myself tried different diets when vegan, vegetarian, and um, I thought I was eating healthy. And I was also told to add more fruits and more vegetables and more whole grains to my meals, um, but none of it worked. I was eventually just um, told to take a Marilax and that was the solution. But I always knew that there has to be a better way. And I also didn't want to be taking medication for the rest of my life. So especially if it's something that um, I can control. So then I knew that I had to do something about it. Fast forward about two years ago, uh, I started to experience knee pain and I did not understand why um, because um, I always thought that to get knee pain, you either have to hurt your knee or you have to be old. And as you get old, your knee can wear out. And then that that was the thought. That was my understanding. Um, but I didn't do anything like that. I don't work out aggressively. Um, I didn't bump my knee or hurt my knee. And I am also not that old. Um, you can put in the comments how old you think I am. I will reveal it in another video. Um, but I didn't have any of this, so it was kind of uh, hard for me to understand why I was experiencing um, knee pain at this age, at such a young age. Mm. I decided to do some research on how the body works, what harms the body, and what helps the body. And I discovered that you can have inflammation in your body. and um, over time, this inflammation can manifest itself as uh, pain, especially joint pain, back pain, and um, you know some type of pain in your body. And I found out that some of the foods that we eat are very inflammatory, and it causes this inflammation. And most of the time, you don't feel it right away until years after. Um, so this inflammation becomes chronic in your body, but it doesn't happen overnight. It takes years before it starts to um, manifest in your body uh, as some type of pain or something else. So when it came to knee pain, um, as I said earlier, I just thought that your knee wore out when you get old um, because this particular situation has happened to a member in my family and they ended up having to get a um, knee replacement. Um, and But that, that was the understanding that I had. In my search, I found out that that is not how the body works. Yes, the body can wear down, but it has the ability uh, to repair and then to rebuild itself. Um, but it can only happen if you give your body the proper nutrition. So here are some of the things I found. I found that the cartilage is a connective tissue and it is built out of a protein called collagen. And you get collagen from foods such as um, meat and bone broth. And collagen's main component is vitamin C. Uh, we're not talking about um, the vitamin C ascorbic acid um, in orange juice, I'm talking about vitamin C from nature, from real food. So as um, you take in this natural food with um, collagen, your body is able to use that to rebuild and then to repair itself. As long as it is receiving the proper nutrition, 
it will be able to rebuild itself. So then I started to search for foods that cause inflammation in your body. Um, some of these are um, sugar, any type of sugar actually. Uh, so sugar, seed oil, canola oil, uh, vegetable oil, um, all the seed oils, a high carb diet, sometimes dairy, but only if you are eating a large amount of dairy and then grains, especially modern grains, modern grains that are refined, um, refined grains. These are some of the things that cause inflammation in the body. So with all this information that I was finding, I decided to um, put it to a test. I changed all the oils I was using. I changed the butter I was using. I stopped using sugar and I stopped eating snacks. I stopped snacking throughout the day. So I learned about foods that does not cause inflammation and I started eating a low carb diet and I started eating uh, more sour food. Um, and to the glory of God, my knee pain went away. And I actually could not believe it. I was kind of surprised. So then I went back um, to kind of eating the way I used to eat um, to see what would happen. When I did that, I started experiencing the knee pain again. So I was just like, wait, is this real? Or like, I just, it was a little bit surprising to me. So then I started to eat, I, I went back on this, my new diet um, again, and then the knee pain went away. And I still was in a little bit of a disbelief. So then I went back to eating a high carb diet again, and then my knee came, my knee pain came back again. And so I found out all the foods that I was eating that caused my knee pain. I just stopped. I was like, okay, so this is for real. This is it. This is what happened. I went back to my new diet of eating low carb and to the glory of God, my knee pain has not returned. And also I stopped having issues with constipation. So, and then I became really interested in nutrition and how the foods we eat really have um, an effect on our body. Um, and in the process, I learned that our body is really intelligent. Like God created this amazing body that we have to be so smart that it's able to um, repair itself and it's able to fix itself. But we have to have the right nutrition. Thinking about the human body um, in, and even relating it to the word of God I was reading, um, I realized Joseph, the son of Jacob, lived to 110 years. And even Moses lived to 120 years. And Joshua also lived to 110 years. So then I realized that, yes, our body is created to live well over 100. Um, and that is if God gives you that time. This is how the body works. The body works when you give it the proper nutrition. A lot of times uh, we hear that certain foods are good and certain foods are bad, but we don't know why or how it reacts in our body. So we tend to either ignore it or we tend to say, oh, you be wound to end that. <laughs> we end up just eating um, whatever we eat. And as time goes on, um, we get sick, we go to the hospital, and they give us medication, and we end up taking medication for the rest of our life. But I just wanted to share this with us all because there is a way to live with less medication, and even for some, with no medication. Um, there's a way to live your life with less pain, or even for some, in my case, with no pain. Um, so it all depends on how you feel your body. We must stop eating the food that are harmful to our body and put in the good food um, that are more nutritious for our bodies. I know when it comes to change, change is not easy, um, but there's always a reward um, at the end of it. 
and you feel it in your body. You feel the health in your body. You know, I used to think that I was really healthy and I ate healthy because uh, my family, we don't really eat out too much. I mean, yes, we, we have our days where we might eat out. Mm -hmm. But I just realized that a lot of our food, that a lot of the ingredients that we even use in our food are very inflammatory. The high carbohydrate food um, in, our, in our dishes can also cause inflammation in our bodies and cause insulin resistance. This leads to all type of diseases, um, hypertension, diabetes, and, you know, we get medication for this. And that is what we have come to even understand as a society is that we get sick as we get older, we go to the doctor, we get prescribed medication, and that is how it is. But I just want to tell you that it does not have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way at all. Um, I know that it may not sound fun eating healthy, um, especially when you start initially. But I can promise you that once you experience health in this way, at this level, um, with more energy, uh, more mental clarity, um, with less belly fat, and even after having kids with little to no belly fat, um, you will be you will feel good in your body. You'll be very happy, and you wouldn't want to go back. So I just want to encourage us, especially if you have any type of metabolic disease. But I just want to encourage you that there is an, a, another way other than medication um, for you to 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 live a healthier life and. Change is not easy, but once you start, um, you know, one day at a time, introducing more vegetables and more healthy fats into your diet and eating less carbohydrate, uh, you will feel good. I hope this will encourage us to start eating healthier and so that we can also pass this um, down to our children. They are the next generation. So thank you so much for watching this video and joining me today. Um, like I always said, let's get healthy together as a community. Um, and if you have any comments, any questions, um, please leave it in the comments. Uh, I'll be bringing more video out um, in helping you in this journey. Please share this video um, so that we can get information out there. There's a lot that we have to unlearn and relearn um, like this video um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time.